to the third video of the Learn Software Development video course. Um, what we'll start off now is on how to install the Godot engine for a Linux system. Um, these instructions work for the most part also for Windows and Mac, um, but be sure to check out the uh, documented inst installation instructions on those operating systems as I personally only use on Linux Ubuntu. But without further ado, let's get started. So what I'll first do here is I'll open a web browser. Let's get that over here. And then we go to dot Godot engine dot org. There we go. So here in this front page, you can find lots of information. See the version, latest one, 3.5.1. Um, go to 4.0 is coming out, exciting stuff there, but still we're staying on the major three release. Um, yeah. You can check out features, news community about some assets. But what we're doing here now is downloading the Godot engine. So we will first download. So what we're going to be using here is the standard version. Um, most likely you'll already have a 64-bit architecture processor, so you'll be able to download this one. Of course, if you're running on a 32-bit machine, choose this one. Um, we're not going to download the mono version, which is the one that has kind of support for um, scripting with C Sharp. So we're going to go with the standard version. This is what we'll be focusing on, and we'll be using GD Script. So let's click that, and the download started. Depending on your network speed, it comes, well, most likely very fast. It's only 37.7 megabytes, so it's not too large. All right. Now with that and downloaded, let's open the folder. And here we have Godot 3.5 stable. Cool. Now that we've got that covered, we can close the browser. We don't need that right now. And we can go ahead and start the installation. So what we'll first do is I have this applications folder here. Currently I've just got like Blender there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to unpack this here. All right. And here we have just a single executable. You can see it's already much larger, so the zip does compress it a lot. But now I can go ahead and delete this one because we have the executable. Now to run this, you need to go right click properties, permissions, and allow executing files a program that's already enabled. Nice, cool. So it should work just by me double clicking it. Yes. Yeah. And there, we have it opened. You don't really need to install anything to your system. It's all packaged and bundled into the single executable. So you don't need like a massive amount of um, additional disk space to which um, files and configurations are generated to or placed and assets and whatnot. They're all contained within the executable itself, which is really nice. And the same applies for Windows and Mac OS as well. You should be able to just open it as long as you have the permission set that you can run it as a program. Um, download, unpack, and open. That's, that's as simple as it gets for installing it. It's working. Um, I do not want the asset library here and we're probably not going to use that for some time or ever. We'll see what comes during the course, but for now going to cancel that. And there, that's done. It's installed. You can always find it from wherever you put it to. So for me, for example, I put it to the um, downloads file, um, folder, and in there I have the applications folder that I use, and it's always here. That's all, folks, for now. Short video. 
just to get things started. Next time we'll have um, a chance to get to know the Godot engine a bit more and see the basics of it, where's what, and probably start getting into some of the first concepts of programming, so variables and kind of printing things to the screen. Let's do a little hello world kind of project or exercise together there, just to, just to get things rolling. So, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.